The NAACP issuing a formal travel advisory for Florida, saying the state has become, quote, hostile to black Americans under Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. Other civil rights groups have issued similar warnings in recent weeks, and it comes as DeSantis is on the verge of entering the race for the White House. Tonight, after accusing Governor Ron DeSantis of a, quote, all-out attack on black Americans, the NAACP issuing a travel advisory for Florida. Joining other civil rights groups that have warned against traveling to the top tourist destination. The NAACP now accusing the state of Florida of being openly hostile toward African Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus individuals. Governor DeSantis I, asked about the travel advisory when it was proposed in March, fine, calling it I, a I, joke. Yeah, but I'm not wasting my time on your stunts, okay? I'm going to make sure that we're getting getting things done here. DeSantis, who signed state laws to block funding for college diversity programs and limit classroom discussion about sexual orientation and gender identity, is expected to make these issues the foundation of his presidential bid. And sources tell ABC News DeSantis is expected to announce he's jumping into the race on Wednesday, likely in a video message posted to social media. DeSantis considered the top challenger to former President Donald Trump who's still the front runner for the Republican nomination. Based on polls, he's not doing okay with anything. The governor largely ignoring Trump's well, persistent taunts, but now sources tell ABC News after announcing his candidacy, DeSantis is preparing to ramp up his criticism of Trump, particularly by trying to cast the former president as too polarizing for moderate voters. And Governor DeSantis isn't the only Republican vying to take on Trump. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is expected to announce his White House bid tomorrow. Scott has picked up a major endorsement from South Dakota Senator John Toon, the number two ranking Republican in the Senate.